What's up everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I will show you how to make a very popular Italian appetizer dish called Caprese. Caprese is an Italian antipasti or appetizer made out of three main ingredients, basil leaf, mozzarella and tomatoes. Today I would like to share with you a very fancy but still very simple version of a Caprese antipasti. Our first element will be the basil and from the basil I want to make a pesto. I took this beautiful basil plant to be used today. So for the pesto I need to cut off the leaves. If you want to have a haircut, this is my beautiful style. You can come always whenever you want. Second ingredient I'm adding is the pine nuts. A must have in a pesto parmigiano. Of course, some olive oil. Some salt and pepper. All I have to do now is just to blend it. At this point, my pesto is done and I can transfer it to a clean plate. This is how it looks, very beautiful, nicely textured. I'll try the pesto to see. It tastes good, it could be a little bit more saltier, but I'm going to add some spices also in my tomato, therefore I need it a bit more neutral. So the second element is the tomato. I'm using a bullhard tomato for the reason that they are much more flavorful, packed with taste, very recommended. Look at this beautiful texture, it's incredible how it's packed with all this flavor. What I need is to cut it in a small cubes. Okay, my tomato got in the plate. To make it more perfect, you can use a ring. I prefer to do it by hand. Always keep your working surface clean. On the tomato, I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. I mean, Italian kitchen without olive oil, seriously. So, more olive oil. And of course, some salt and pepper. And the third element would be traditionally mozzarella. Today I'm changing it with burrata. Burrata is a, like a premium version of mozzarella. It's surrounded by a firm surface and inside it's like super creamy, super tender. It's amazing. This is what you get inside. It's like a small bowl of happiness, literally. Burrata cheese goes on top of our tomato tartare, you can say, because this is the closest you can get. And I kept a tiny basil leaf for a decoration. And of course, a little bit olive oil on top of burrata as well. This is it, our dish is done. I will warm up some nice bread and we will try it as a bruschetta. I warm up the fresh bread, let's see how it looks. Ooh, a little bit hot, so it's super crunchy. I'm using today baguette rustique, yeah, that's a fancy name. A little bit pesto on each slice. All the steps before the bread you can make it ahead of time and when your guests are arriving you can warm up the bread and proceed with building the bruschettas. Tomato tartare on top. Now look at this. Isn't it amazing? For me the food is not just about delicious, it needs to look aesthetic as well have this nice tray and party bruschetta caprese, that's how you can call it. A very nice dish, very simple to make, very aesthetic, very beautiful, very special and vegetarian. That's it at this point guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please support my channel, it motivates me a lot to post new videos. I do post in all the platforms, in Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, but the recipes will be only on my YouTube channel and I always attach the YouTube link for other platforms. So thank you very much and have a nice day, bye bye.